for the sign of cancer hello and welcome to my channel for the sign of cancer just remember the top cards that you see they're paired with the bottom cards and the decks that I use for this reading I'll have them listed in the description box below I've already shuffled and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and the person that you're currently dealing with We'll see what's coming up for the two of you. We'll find out what the challenge is going to be. And then we'll take a look and see what the outcome is. <clears throat> so Cancer, the recent past energy between you and your person. Temperance clarified by the star. With Temperance, your relationships, they could be going quite well. But you may need to look at any deeper personal issues and see if or how they're standing in your way and if they are how to work through them and integrate them because the idea is to do what it takes to find balance in yourself in your relationships and with your goals and aspirations now it's with the star card with this one you could find yourself feeling really inspired more hopeful about the future than you've than you have felt in a while you could feel more confident that your needs they're being met whether it's emotional or financial or it could be both just know that nothing can be taken for granted but like I said it's unlikely when you get the star card that your confidence is misplaced this can also be a spiritual card and you could find yourself feeling at least for a time at one with all of creation and that's not a common feeling so you might want to try to savor it so cancer temperance clarified by the star for the recent past energy between you and your person so what I'm getting is that yeah I'm getting because the star card is with temperance is that you might have lost hope and faith in the connection yeah, because the star card is actually about feeling hopeful, having faith, feeling rejuvenated. Any grief of the past is released. But it's with temperance, so you could still be holding on to some past hurt that um, happened in the connection with this person that you're dealing with. And it's caused you to not feel as hopeful about the connection. And like I said, you could you could have started to lose faith. And because it's with temperance, it looks like you, you wanted to bring balance back into the connection. And you wanted peace of mind again. And temperance can be about reconciliation. So maybe you or your person wanted to reconcile. Yeah. Because um, temperance can be about looking at things that you feel guilty about and forgiving yourself making peace with it because that's really the only way that you can move forward so yeah you lost hope and faith but yeah there was reconciliation someone wanted reconciliation with temperance here they wanted to bring things back into balance so oh, let's move on over let's take a look and see what's coming up for the two of you now we got the queen of wands and it's with the nine of swords the queen of wands can refer to a woman this person would have a lot of fire type of energy it could be an aries leo sagittarius when it's not referring to an actual person it can it can um often stand for focus on work career maybe family romance the queen is actually positive uplifting energy 
when she stands for a person in your life, she's actually a good friend who's solidly on your side, even though she can seem a bit self-absorbed. And if you're trying to conceive and you get the Queen of Wands in the reading, well, this is one of the more positive signs that there can be. Now, it's with the Nine of Swords. With the Nine of Swords, it's showing a need to guard against feelings of anxiety. So if you're feeling anxious, take a good look at whether or not any of that's under your own power, under your own control, and try to lessen it. Or if things or other people in your life are contributing to this anxiety. If this is the case, you may want to look at that and see whether or not something in the relationship can be changed to make it more workable. Also, just know that there is something about this time period that can cause people to feel like their life should be in some way more or bigger or just different than it is. So try to take comfort, try to take joy in the ordinary things and just know that that's where the beauty really is. So coming up, Cancer, Queen of Wands, clarified by Nine of Swords. So yeah. Whomever you're dealing with, um, this Queen of Wands is very determined about you, very determined about the connection, very adamant. They know that you experience anxiety and worry about the connection or maybe some things that have happened in the connection. Or maybe some things that are that have happened in the past with with them. They know that it brings you sleepless nights, anxiety, grief, sadness. But they are determined to, to they're determined about you. They are determined about the connection. This Queen of Wands, she's very confident. Um she can be or he can be very egotistical, used to getting what they want. The Queen of Wands knows their worth. So, you got somebody that's, I'm getting this feeling that, um, yeah, they, they're very, very adamant about Maybe trying to fix whatever's wrong or just to keep the connection going. But let's let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the challenge is. Okay, so we got justice. And it's with judgment. Now, justice actually deals with the idea of karma and the law of cause and effect. So it's important to remember that not everything you're dealing with is a direct result of your own actions or karma because sometimes we're called upon to deal with the results of the action of someone we care about so don't blame yourself unnecessarily and if you're directly involved in a court case it could be resolved at least a large degree in your favor when you get justice now it's with judgment which is a card about jumping to conclusions, decisions, and of course, judgments that are made too hastily. So if you know you're prone to doing this, it's actually a sign to slow down, give things more thought, maybe get, maybe give people more chances. It, this can be a time of spiritual awakening. So your challenge, cancer justice clarified by judgment. Okay, like I said, you're dealing with someone who's very confident and very adamant about you and the connection. Very determined to make it work. They see that you're experiencing some worry. And that you maybe you haven't let go of the past hurt that you've experienced by them or by the connection. Um, because it looks like, like I said... The recent past energy, it shows that you lost faith in the connection, in the person that you're dealing with. But it looks like coming up the challenge, it's showing that they want to do right by you. The justice is 
justice showing up here. This person actually wants to do right by you. But they're having a hard time because you're still holding on to some mistake that they made in the past. It's causing you a lot of anxiety. And because it's clarified by judgment, it's indicating that you're being very judgmental towards them. But it's showing that they could want to try to do right. They want to do things right this time. Yeah, so that's a challenge. Now let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the outcome is. We got the tower. And it's with the seven of pentacles. Now the tower can be a card about trying to hold too tightly to the status quo, which can be a disaster. You gotta roll with the changes. It's likely that some people's situations that you counted on as being there for you may no longer be there in quite the same way. Now, this doesn't have to be drastic because we know change is the nature of life. And if we try to prevent it, it could be like trying to row upstream without a paddle. And if you've been building some castles in the, in the air, this could be the time that some of them come crashing down. And that's, that's only going to be a problem if you let it be. And I say this because you can replace them with some more realistic reachable goals and dreams if some fantasies fall apart. Now, so with the Seven of Pentacles, which is a card about returns on investments, this could be literal, maybe a bank account returning money to you, or figuratively, such as investments of time, effort, energy, that you put into a relationship. It's about reaping what you have sown. And this is usually positive. So you should be feeling more secure than you have in a while. And things will be moving along really well. You'll be feeling hopeful again about the future with a good cause. So you may have to decide whether to put your energy into things, people, and situations that you're already involved with. Or whether to spend your energy bringing more into your life. So your outcome, Cancer, the Tower, clarified by Seven of Pentacles. That's interesting. It looks like, it looks like the connection is, is trying to fall, it's trying to fall down. Because, because look at you, you're the Nine of Swords. In your judgment. Very judgmental. And it's causing you so much anxiety. Like I said, I'm, I'm picking up for a lot of you. This is reconciliation. And your person, I'm getting that they're, they're the ones who initiated. For a lot of you, they're the one. They're the one that initiated this reconciliation. But you're having a really hard time. And it's trying, to, the connection is trying to fall apart. Just because you, you're being judgmental, they're trying to do the right thing, but you can't help it. You're, you're, you're holding on to some past hurt or mistake that they made. But the thing is that they're the Queen of Wands. They're very determined about this connection. Maybe trying to make it happen again or keep it going they want to do right this time and because it's with the seven of pentacles yeah they they see that it's trying to fall apart again because you're not really opening up like they know you need to just to get this rolling again so there they are the seven of pentacles the card below the word outcome the picture speaks volumes you see how she's watering this plant well she gets up every morning to take care of it before she goes to bed she takes care of it 
She's had this plant ever since it was a little baby. She could hold it in the palm of her hand. Now it's about, what, eight, eight or ten feet tall. The leaves are dark, rich, healthy, and well-nourished. So she's taking really good care of that plant. And it's all because she wants it to grow. She wants it to make. She wants it to make it. She wants it to live. And this is how your person is feeling about you. Very determined. Yeah. They see it. They see it's trying to fall apart. But they, they're not going anywhere. They're going to make sure it makes it for a lot of you. They're going to keep putting in the energy, time, and effort. Whatever it takes to, to, make, to make it work. So that is the reading that I have for you, Cancer. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I'll also put a link below all the extended of this reading. Where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario. And what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks, there's also a link below for personal readings. If you'd like to try one of those. So Cancer, thank you so much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there. It's going to pass. We'll all get through this, so stay strong. Please come back and join me for the next key. Cancer reading, just in case this did not resonate. Maybe the next reading will. Also, keep in mind... When you get the readings, the roles of the people can be switched. Yes, they can be reversed, meaning you could be your person or your person could be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could actually be a friend, a family member, a co-worker, or a situation. So just take the readings for however it resonates because... Once again, these are general readings. They're not personal readings. So, Cancer, I can never say it enough. I thank you so very much for watching. I hope that you're all having a wonderful New Year's. I'm wishing you the very, very best for 2021. I hope to see you at the next reading. I hope you have a great day and take care.